Next thing on my chronology is creation. Then God said, let us, this is Genesis 1, 26, let us make man in our image according to our likeness and let them rule over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the sky and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. God created man in his own image. There's the key I'm going to pick up on. God created man in his own image. What does that mean? In the image of God, he created them, male and female, equally in God's image, he created them. Okay. What does it mean to be created in the image of God? Books by the <laughs> hundreds have been written on the Imago Dei, as it's called, it's a huge issue. Is it reason? Is it emotion? Is it that we walk erect? Is it that we have moral accountability? How are we like God? And I'm just going to avoid the whole controversy and say something much simpler and I think just as profound. Images are created to image. Right? Why do you ever set up an image of anything to image it? You put up a, 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 a statue of Stalin. You want people to look at Stalin and think about Stalin. You put up a statue of George Washington. Look at it and think about the founding father and something great and, or whatever. Images are made to image. And so, if God made us, unlike all the other animals, in His image, whatever it means in detail, this it means clearly. I think it's clear. Images are created to set forth the reality. God's the reality, and we're the image. Now, what does that mean? I mean, just paraphrase that now in terms of my concern. My concern is, why did God create man? And the answer becomes, to show God. That's why. He created little images so that they would talk and act and feel in a way that reveals the way God is. So people would look at the way you behave, look at the way you think, the way you feel, and say, God must be great. God must be real. That is why you exist. So, God didn't create you as an end in yourself. He's the end. You're the means. And the reason that's such good news is because the best way to show that God is infinitely valuable is to be supremely happy in Him. If God's people are bored with God, they are really bad images. Bad, bad, bad. God is not unhappy about Himself. He is infinitely excited about His own glory. That's why the Son received the words, You are my beloved Son. With you I am. Now, this, we just, we take this word well pleased, say, He's okay with Jesus. <laughs> He's not just okay with Jesus. He is absolutely thrilled with Jesus as the image of Himself. And so, if we go about the world making our choices in what we watch on television, do on computer, the way we handle money, the way we handle food, so that it communicates to the world these things are our treasure rather than God, these things make us satisfied rather than God, He's getting a bad press, and we're not doing what we were created to do. We were created to image God. So, God predestined for His glory. He created for the display of His glory. I'm going to skip the Tower of Babel. I'm going to skip the call of Abraham. I'm going to go to the Exodus. We're staying in chronological order here. This is... Uh, Ezekiel, 